bringing their innovations closer to Filipinos through social media. Well, the Science and Technology Department joined forces with TikTok Philippines for its latest campaign. Let's find out more from DOST's Dr. Enrico Paringit and TikTok Philippines' Christopher Edward Rada. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Final Word. Dr. Paringit, what do you hope to achieve from this collaboration with TikTok? <laughs> well, Rico, good evening, uh, first of all. Uh, you know, communication has always been a challenge for uh, most of our researchers. They're, seeing, uh, they're, be they're being seen as either uh, uh, high bro or uh, misunderstood no, for the mm. high pollutant words that they usually uh, use or jargon that they use in science. No, so what we did now is, uh, so we're excited with this collaboration with TikTok uh, because we wanted to use it as a new avenue for us to share distinctly uh, Pinoy innovations through this uh, social media platform. And since I found out, found out about this uh, partnership, uh, Dr. Paringit, I signed up with TikTok. And uh, I want to find out from you, Doctor, do you personally have a TikTok account? Well, I, have, I don't have one yet, but I'm, <laughs> I plan to, of course, uh, because I want to see what those uh, TikTok videos are. Uh, so, I, I know my kids uh, have, uh, have an account. So, Christopher, <laughs> you'll have to help uh, Dr. Paringit sign up on TikTok. So how does this partnership work? Does TikTok curate the videos for DOST or does the science and tech department just submit and upload their own videos, Christopher? Well, first of all, thank you, Rico, for having me. And uh, like Dr. Paringit said, we're very excited for this partnership with DOST, just pr to provide the context, right? Globally, we have a hashtag learn on TikTok series where we really partner with uh, educators and institutions to produce more educational content on the mm. platform. This is also to show that TikTok is, of course, known for the creative and fun videos, but we can also be used for uh, things like these, like uh, educational videos, such as the partnership we have with the DOST Pichard. Uh, now, directly to your point, I think we, we can really look at this partnership. I think this is a pairing of, of two organizations really looking for each other. On one hand, DOST was looking for a wider base mm. to really introduce science and technology to, uh, to more Filipinos. And at the same time, we are looking for credible partners as well uh, for us to spread educational content, particularly during this time of pandemic, wherein mm. we understand that almost right. all uh, institutions of learning have shifted online, right? So we feel as a, as a platform, TikTok has a huge role to play in furthering the uh, education of uh, Filipinos. So let's now take a look at gentlemen at some of these DOST uh, TikTok videos. Pwede kayo magpatakbo na sa sayan gamit lamang ang tubig? Let me explain. You're surrounded by nanomaterials from transistors in your cell phone to nanocrystals in sunblock to even the nanostructures on the surface of Gabi. But what is nano? Our proposed solution is a nanofiber filter for conventional mask. The nanofiber filter is synthesized using the cellulose grow material from the locally produced abaca. Since the material is from a biomass resource, it is biodegradable, therefore mm. it is eco-friendly. Dr. Paringit, very interesting, these videos that we see on TikTok, no? from highfaluting scientific terms, you're trying to really bring it down to a layman's language so every Filipino can understand. Yes, uh, that's exactly the uh, intention of this uh, partnership with TikTok. We wanted to make science and innovation uh, more fun, true, of course, and relevant. Because there's a question about you know, keeping it real or keeping it uh, uh, as scientific as possible. Uh, as much as we can. Of course, we don't want the watered-down uh, versions of the science, but we wanted to make a connection as well. So we have to strike that balance between trying to reach out and make uh, uh, Filipino innovations known, and at the same time, uh, still make it uh, fun and innovative also for uh, uh, our uh, TikTok subscribers. So Christopher, tell us now about the data. What has been the response of uh, Filipino TikTok users on these local scientific achievements and developments through Pinoy Science? Well, we just started the campaign, Rico, last ah. week, right? And uh, we've started to see a lot of people starting to follow the official TikTok uh, page of Pinoy Science, which is the official handle of DOST Pichard, including yourself. I understand that you followed Pinoy Science yourself. <laughs> so thank you very much, Rico, for adding to that number. And we hope this is actually a six-month partnership wherein we will have several... Uh, 
uh, competitions such as hashtag mm. Pinoy Innovator, hashtag Pinoy Scientist. You know, as Dr. Paringkut mentioned, we hope to see a lot of these scientific theories and a lot of these innovations come to life. And probably uh, with people swaying to the beat of the popular TikTok song. Uh, so that would be a lot of fun, you know, uh, and we look forward to a lot of people really uh, following the Pinoy Science TikTok page and participating in this competition to really enhance uh, people's knowledge about science and innovation in the country. So Dr. Paringit, tell us about this competition and how can users join? Can I join this competition even though I'm not a scientist or an innovator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Rico, you can always, uh, of course, uh, uh, upload your video. Uh, you can, the engagement runs from February to July of this year. So what you'll do is you just uh, uh, upload your interpretation of a uh, uh, common household item mm -hmm. that can be creatively used uh, to develop a nifty innovation. So how's that? You, you take out a, uh, a balde or a tabo, and then uh, make an innovation out of it. So that's the, that's the Pinoy Innovator Hashtag Challenge. So the, the, the winners will be announced some, sometime in uh, April 2021. So, right. I'll have so to watch think. out for it. Uh, there's, a, well, there's a modest cash price that goes with it, but I think uh, the, fun of it, the fun of doing it will be in itself a uh, reward. So uh, the, 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 okay. the entries will be judged according to originality, innovation, or functionality. And then, of course, uh, creativity helps. And then uh, a little bit of resourcefulness. And, of course, uh, a visual appeal will help. So, Rico, you're a shoe in definitely. Okay, Th thank you. I'll, I'll be using this pen, and I'll try to innovate it over the next few months and see how we could uh, make something out of this pen. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on The Final Word. Dr. Enrico Paringit from the DOST and Christopher Edward Rada from TikTok Philippines.